मानसिल प्लीज धन्यवाद जय देव जी Thank you sir. Thank you for giving me this opportunity to speak on this piece of legislation which has passed through so many phases till now, hurdles and processes <clears throat> since the Department of Financial Services constituted the key advisory group in 2011. Now it is before the house for its consideration. Sir, we have more than 30,000 registered chit fund companies or operators in the country with a turnover of more than 40,000 crores. But if you look at the unregistered chit operators, there are 25 times more than the registered ones. This clearly indicates that the chit fund industry is unregulated and undergoverned. If you look at the Parent Act, it prohibits funds from being created without the prior sanction of the state government. The act was passed in 1982, and we have innumerable number of lakhs of people being duped by unre unregulated deposits. It's happening in spite of the Chit Funds Act. of 1982 preventing such chit funds from being operated sir when the parent act itself is not able to control and contain the unregistered chit operators or companies which are 25 times more than the registered ones how does this bill help in containing them i request the minister to please explain this sir the honorable minister is aware that south india is known as the chit fund capital of india as it accounts for one third of the country's chit fund business Also you are treating chit funds on par with NBFCs but when it comes to taxing them you are imposing more tax including GST on the chit fund business Thirdly I think you are giving 90% abatement to NBFCs when compared to 30% given to chit fund companies So on the one hand you treat them as NBFCs and on the other you are not extending the benefits of NBFCs to chit fund companies which is discriminatory sir So I request the honorable minister to kindly consider giving chit funds also 90% abatement and remove GST on chit funds as is the case with NBFCs. It is not that it would become an isolated case. There are examples in countries such as Canada and New Zealand financial services are exempted from GST and countries like Australia and EU are giving tax exemption. The final point I wish to make is relating to deposit insurance for investors. The customers of chit funds subscribe certain amount of money but there is no insurance cover for such deposits or subscription so i request the honorable minister through this house to include this if possible in the bill itself otherwise the same may be mandated under subordinate legislation such as under rules and regulations made afterwards i'm saying this because if a company files bankruptcy petition neither the government nor the rbi will help the investors resulting in loss of savings for millions of people in the country with these observations and hoping that the finance minister will address these issues seriously i support the bill thank you sir